I'm the son of a good man I'm the child of an angel I'm the brother of a wild one And I'm looking for direction I'm the lover of a beauty I'm the father of blessings I'm the singer of a love song But is that all I'm good for? Say, how we doing out there, people in YouTube land and Facebook land? This is Harry, Big Country Trucking. This is another edition of Life from the Driver's Seat. It is Memorial Day, and I am in Texarkana, Arkansas. Got to deliver down in Fort Worth, Texas tomorrow. And then head back to Tennessee, to Knoxville, to get another load. Heading back to New York, then I'm going to get home and Hang out with the family for a couple days. But anyway, I wanted to drop this video for you guys that are uh, contemplating on getting your own authority. I just want to uh, give you a heads up. Maybe save you some money because I made a mistake. A couple weekends ago, I uh, went to the FMCSA and I just wanted to get my DOT number. That was it. Didn't want my MC number yet. And apparently, the FMCSA has a new, uh, a new um, system, new forms that you have to fill out there online. It used to be different. Now they're they're new, and it's a little confusing if you're not quite sure of the terminology, which I wasn't really quite sure of the terminology. So I'm filling out the form. Now, mind you, to get your DOT number only, it's free. It doesn't cost nothing. And the reason I did that is because sometime here in the near future, they're going to do away with the MC number. Now, you have to pay $300 for your MC number right now, but they're going to get rid of that. And so I'm assuming that when they get rid of that, you'll have to pay for your DOT number, which right now it's free just to get your DOT number. And because I plan on eventually at some point, uh, you know, get my own authority and going on my own, uh, I went on the website and wanted to get only my DOT number. So I'm filling out the form and, you know, filling out the clicking, you know, the boxes that pertain to what I want to do. And I get to the end and a screen comes up for credit card information. Now, mind you, there's no, that page shows no amount of money that I owe. It just asks for credit card information. So I'm assuming that you have to just fill this out to go on to the next step. So I fill it out with my credit card information and hit submit. The next page, next page it comes up, says, thank you, your payment of $900 has been submitted successfully. Well, I was kind of surprised and shocked and pretty upset because all I wanted to do was get my free DOT number. So, one thing you need to be aware of, once you've applied for your DOT number, you're going to get a lot of phone calls from agents uh, associated with the FMCSA that will go over with you the processes of, now what do you do next? So, my phone blew up. Within five minutes, I started getting phone calls. So, I answered the phone, and this agent comes on, very nice lady, uh, and I explained to her what happened, and she said, yeah, this has been happening a lot lately. It's very confusing on the new system that they have, on the new forms that you have to fill out. And a lot of guys are making the same mistake. So what mistake did I make? Well, first of all, I applied without knowing that I did for my household goods movers DOT number. And secondly, I applied without realizing that I did so. I applied for my broker authority. And also my MC number. So $300 each, that's $900, which is non-refundable. It says right on the page, non-refundable. I even asked this agent if I could get my money back. And uh, I, I think I talked to the FMCSA also. And they sent me a form that I could fill out asking for a refund. But they said it never happens. So I didn't even bother. So here's what I learned. Number one, when it comes to the freight forwarding page, unless you want to become a freight broker, do not click, yes, that's what you want to do. See, because the the, uh, the page that they had on the application 
for freight forwarding showed a, a, a picture, like a drawing, a, a, a cartoonist like drawing of a truck from a dock going to a warehouse. So I figured, yeah, that's I'm going to be moving freight from a dock to somewhere else. So I thought that was freight forwarding. That's what I was going to be doing. But no, actually, that means a broker authority. It would have been nice if on the application it would have specifically said freight forwarding as a broker. Mistake number one, $300. And then it asks, you know, for the, uh, um, what was the other one? The uh, home, uh, home, moving home stuff. I figured, you know, as an owner operator, there might be times I might be going to someone's house and maybe moving a tractor or a piece of equipment for them to someplace else. So thinking that, yeah, I guess I might at some point go to somebody's house and move something. Then, so I clicked yes for home moving, which I didn't understand that that meant actually, specifically as a broker, moving people's personal items from one place to another, as in home moving moving their whole house, all of their goods from one location to another. I'm not going to do that. $300. So I hope this will help you guys to not make the same mistake that I did. Unless you're going to be moving home goods, select no. Unless you want to be a broker to get your authority, select no. Or they're going to charge you. And it's not going to show you on the page when it comes up and it shows you the credit to, to uh, put on your credit card information. It showed on that page nothing that I owe, which I think is pretty sneaky. And I feel like I got robbed. I feel like the FMCSA stole my money, basically. Uh, and when they say you will not get a refund, I think it's pretty underhanded and pretty sneaky for the FMCSA to have their application worded in such a way. I think they did it on purpose. I really do. I think they worded things in such a way for ignorant guys like me who didn't really understand the terminology to make this mistake and be charged for something that we don't plan on doing. I think it's robbery. So, guys, I hope you don't get in the same situation. You know, now I pay. I have to pay $900 on my credit card when I didn't want to pay anything. I didn't want to pay zero. I'm supposed to pay zero for your broker authority. Well, if you guys have any uh, comments you want to leave, go ahead. I, I appreciate that a lot. It's my fault. I, I take full responsibility because I was ignorant of the terminology and didn't quite really understand what I was filling out when I filled out the paperwork. Let's go ahead and leave a comment. Tell me I'm stupid. I don't care. Tell me if you got stuck in the same situation. I, apparently, according to these agents with the FMCSA, it's happening quite a bit because people just, uh, you know, they're clicking the wrong boxes it should be explained on there are you sure you want to be a freight broker yes or no are you sure you want to do household goods moving yes or no for those types of questions so that there's no mistakes like this being made but anyway i just want to drop this video and uh, let you know what happened so that you might not have the same uh, mistake it, it cost you money like it cost me Anyway, guys, ladies, keep trucking, keep America moving. I appreciate watching this video. If you would, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. I'd appreciate it. And uh, have a good day. If you're driving this Memorial weekend, thank you for what you're doing. Stay safe. We'll see you on the highway.